Good morning. Uh, welcome again to the uh, Hydrogen and Fuel Cells and Batteries Group Exhibit 2016. Uh, my name is Robin, and right now we have um, Andreas B. B. Richter, the sales manager, sales and marketing manager at Serpo uh, Tech AS. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> Um, uh, would you mind please telling us a little bit about uh, um, Serpo Tech's history and uh, how it came about? Absolutely. Well, Serpo Tech uh, is a Norwegian company. We're based in Trondheim. And uh, our roots are at the Norwegian University of Technology and Natural Science. So three professors of the university have developed the core technology that we use. And they found it uh, of, so, of such large interest uh, that they decided to found a company that commercializes this technology. And that uh, happened in 2007. And uh, three years ago, in 2013, uh, we raised some capital and established uh, a pilot, a small industrial facility. And that is uh, the facility out of which we are working now. And this is based in uh, Nor uh, Norway? In Norway, so. in Trondheim, Norway. Fantastic. And uh, can you please share with us some information about uh, the technology used for your uh, ceramic uh, products? Absolutely. I love to do that. Well, our core technology is called spray pyrolysis. The spray pyrolysis is a very unique uh, route to synthesize ceramic powders. And uh, in this uh, forum that we have here, hydrogen and fuel cells, uh, ceramic powders actually play a very large role. Uh, because they are the base materials uh, for high temperature fuel cell technologies. They determine uh, the performance and the durability uh, of the SOFC, the solid oxide fuel cell. And even in a larger context of this forum, they can be used for membranes, uh, for gas separation which is a, w a route to produce uh, hydrogen mm -hmm. from a gas stream. They can be used for oxygen separation. Uh, so these are already two of the large fields that we engage in with our products, um, fuel cells, membranes. And then there's actually a large, uh, a third one, uh, which is a bit outside the, of the context of this forum here, but um, very interesting for maybe other companies in the Hanover Fair, uh, which is electroceramic materials. So uh, another large product group uh, that we produce uh, is electroceramic materials, which can be used for piezo ceramics. And there, our specialty are really the lead-free materials, so the most environmental-friendly materials. Oh, it's fantastic. That's the best part of it. <laughs> um, please tell us about your core technology used to produce your uh, ceramic products. Yes. As I mentioned, it's called spray pyrolysis. And uh, the technology, uh, it uh, really uh, lays the foundation for the high quality of our materials. So um, when you talk about ceramic powders, uh, there are certain quality parameters which are extremely important. One is the stoichiometry, or in layman terms, the composition uh, of the powders. You want this to be as exact as possible. Another one is the homogeneity. Uh, that means that all particles in the powders are the same, uh, and you don't have differences within the material, which will offset uh, the performance. So uh, exact stoichiometry, high homogeneity, and then the third one is the purity. Uh, the purity uh, in terms of chemical purity, very low uh, level of contaminants uh, in the powder, uh, and also the phase purity. Uh, phase purity is a term that describes that also you don't have different materials within the material. Let's say it can separate um, after some production routes, but our production route avoids this. Thank you. Um, how are you able to support your uh, customers um, and offer them good customer service? This is uh, really, uh, that's actually where the title of the presentation uh, comes from, because uh, what we really focus on are the requirements of our customers. And uh, these can be very different, and therefore we also have very different ways of supporting our customers. Now, uh, the easiest way, and that is actually uh, a news uh, which I would also like to uh, reveal here, yeah, please go is, ahead. is that we have just released, uh, launched a web shop. And that is the easiest, most accessible way uh, to, um, to our products, uh, where you can order the most common ones, uh, known standard products, which many companies use, uh, in a very easy way online. So uh, it gives our uh, customers very quick access. Uh, it's uh, very competitive pricing. 
uh, for these materials. And uh, you have specifications and safety data sheets uh, online. Uh, so it's probably the uh, easiest and most accessible way uh, to get these uh, special materials. Fantastic. And what is your turnaround time from when they order it online? How long till the from there to getting to the customer? It is actually uh, quite quick. We can ship within one to two weeks, usually. And uh, the shipping is even included uh, in the price. Uh, so uh, we think it's a very good uh, offer. So please uh, visit our website. And what's the website? It is uh, sapotech.com. Very easy. Fantastic. Yes. Um, and you brought a, uh, a little sample of uh, your ceramic powders. Exactly. Sort of like to see what I, they brought, look like. uh, I brought a sample here, which is one of the uh, very well known SOFC materials. Uh, it is uh, CGO, so ceria oxide doped with gadolinium. Um, and uh, it is used in electrolytes, uh, for example, of fuel cells, uh, or uh, also for um, yeah, certain barrier layers uh, in the fuel cell. Uh, it can also be used for membranes. So this is uh, one of the standardized, very well-known products that we have. Then, coming back to the way how we support our uh, customers, uh, there is also a much larger product portfolio behind this. So when you go to our website and enter the product section, there you will find about uh, 130, 150 different uh, ceramic powders, which are available upon request. And there, please send us an inquiry. Uh, we can uh, discuss the specifications that uh, the customer, the partner would need. Uh, we have uh, very good means uh, to fine tune the morphology of the powder, so how the actual particles look, uh, to the processing requirements. And uh, really from the way of working, for us, uh, the technology, uh, we will exploit it to the fullest. Uh, to, um, synthesize exactly the powder. And that is, uh, in my view at least, uh, it is quite unique in the ceramic industry. Because in the ceramic industry, uh, there are a lot of standardized products, which may work, uh, and uh, which uh, may do the job. Uh, but uh, by fine-tuning the parameters uh, of the powder, there's really more to gain. And there we really like the interaction with our customers. And that is also one of the advantages of our process. It's very flexible. And we have the competence uh, to push the right levers in the process uh, and uh, get the parameters uh, out of it that are required. So basically, what, whatever the client wants is what the client gets. <laughs> Science work. has a limit, <laughs> gives course. us some limit as always, uh, but that is the actual limit. That's yes. fantastic. That yes. probably sets you apart from other companies uh, in the field, I would assume. Um, what are the uh, challenges that your uh, customers face in the marketplace, if any? Yeah, um, there are, for, again, from our point of view and from the discussions which we have for our customers, I would describe the process that some companies that need ceramic powder go through, that they order samples of different materials. It's what they get, they test it, and then they find something which is suitable or they choose uh, the lessest uh, of the evils uh, that are there. We really like a different approach. Uh, so the approach that we like is uh, that we get into a dialogue with our customer, uh, we find out which way they would like to process the powder, uh, which uh, product performance they are looking for. Uh, then we can uh, influence the um, parameters of the material they have uh, in mind uh, on the powder level, or we can even engage uh, in a bi bilateral uh, development project uh, where we can synthesize different materials and they can try out different materials and uh, change uh, and uh, choose the best composition. Or even taking it one step further, uh, we have certain ideas uh, of uh, novel materials, uh, composite materials, uh, or core shell particles, which will require some development. Uh, it's nothing which is uh, ready to use on the shelf, and it's also something which has to be specifically adapted to the process. Uh, but uh, then again, it will give you returns uh, in the performance of the product. So uh, the message basically is uh, there are a lot more opportunities than just standard powders, and uh, please uh, engage with us in a cooperation uh, to 
gain these uh, these advantages that are there. So basically, give you feedback, uh, you know, in, uh, what, whatever you provide to them, whatever service, the uh, powder, and so on, give you feedback in order to make it better. Exactly. And more exactly. Applicable. So the f the feedback, it's important for us because uh, it helps us uh, improve the product and also improve the product towards uh, the performance that our and towards the very product uh, that our customers and partners are after. And at this point, I would actually like to add, because there's different ways of cooperating uh, in this way. Uh, there is uh, a bilateral uh, cooperation, which we're very happy to do under confidentiality terms, if that is required uh, of the customer. Uh, so that is uh, one way where we will firewall completely what we're doing um, for the partner that uh, needs uh, proprietary material or that has developed a proprietary material, but they may look uh, for a company that can provide it in the right quality because they are in the position they have developed something, but when it's ready in the lab, where do you get the serial product? Uh, so there we can help. Uh, another way uh, of working together is, of course, uh, joint projects. So uh, our company, uh, we are at the moment uh, involved in uh, three uh, joint projects uh, all over Europe, uh, which uh, can be on the battery side. Uh, Zinc Air uh, secondary battery project is one of our Horizon 2020 projects. Then we have a very interesting project uh, uh, regarding PEM electrolyzer plates, where corrosion uh, is a large issue. And uh, we're constantly um, looking for new opportunities uh, to uh, engage in Horizon 2020 or national projects. Uh, for us, really, if uh, the consortium feels and we feel that we can uh, add value to the project, uh, for the project uh, by supplying materials and by enabling the project to um, develop and test uh, new materials, then we're more than happy to join the consortium. Thank you. Really good points. Um, what are the uh, key advantages uh, you think about uh, your products and services on the marketplace or for the, the customer? The main advantage is, of course, the quality uh, of the powder. Uh, there we really see our powder as, as a premium product. Uh, also a premium product, uh, as I was um, explaining, which um, can be adapted to the exact requirements uh, of the customer and uh, then the flexibility of the process. I mentioned our website um, and uh, the, the web shop, uh, the complete product list, but it actually doesn't end there. Uh, so beyond that, there's uh, many new materials uh, which can be synthesized, uh, which may be of interest also for applications which we haven't discussed here in detail, like thermoelectrics or uh, novel um, or next generation solid oxide fuel cells like proton conducting fuel cells. At the moment there is no standard. Uh, there's materials being researched uh, at different uh, places and uh, we can really bridge the gap then from the basic research of these materials to a standard product which is available at the specifications and a constant quality uh, to a company that would require it. Thank you. Um, do you have any other research uh, projects that are coming up? Actually, we, uh, we do. Uh, again, it shows uh, how large our portfolio is, uh, because what um, maybe the most uh, interesting research project that we plan for the future is on the lead-free electroceramics. Uh, there we see uh, that this will get a lot of traction in the market, um, because there is legislation which outlaws the lead, but it's not fully implemented. Um, it's exempt from year to year because uh, the right materials are not available at the moment and not at the right cost and performance. But um, our plan is to uh, engage in a research project uh, with the right partners uh, to manufacture the powder and even a bit more than the powder. Uh, to have uh, fully competitive uh, lead-free electroceramics and piezoceramics uh, on the market. Thank you. What's, uh, what area, sort of, what country is your largest market or what uh, continent, we can even say, is your largest market? It's fair to say that our market is the world. Uh, of course, we're not equally active in all areas of the world. Uh, I, I would say at the moment uh, we have uh, 
our main customer group uh, is in Europe, Northern Europe, Central Europe. Uh, we all, that is also where, for example, SOFC uh, is very popular and, uh, and is uh, manufactured uh, at the moment. Then in um, other parts of the world, uh, yeah, again, we follow the traces of the SOFC uh, in some way, and also the electronics industry, so it's uh, Korea, uh, it's Japan, and it's also Northern America. Those, I would say, are the main regions where we're active. Big, big markets as well. Um, what would you like, uh, anything else that you want to share as far as uh, what you want people to remember when they walk away? Again, if you're looking for ceramic powders, you can't find what you're looking for in the market, please come to us. We may be able to help. Uh, and um, we can really we can really enable uh, functions uh, in products with our materials. So uh, that is, uh, I would say, uh, a, a trend uh, that you see in the SOFC, that you also see in others, that uh, the end performance of the product can be clo very closely related to the base material. So this must not be forgotten in this context. And then on uh, a very cheerful note, we have, we're part of the Norwegian Pavilion. And, I heard about uh, this. And exactly, we have a small reception uh, tomorrow uh, in the afternoon. So uh, please uh, come by the joint uh, Norwegian stand, uh, get an invitation, and then join uh, our, uh, the, uh, the reception uh, of the, the Norwegian companies that are present there. Tomorrow. So this will be at uh, 4 p.m. tomorrow, so right after? 4.30. 4.30, 30. I'm yes. sorry. At, uh, that is in, in booth B60 that you can come and get an invitation. And is that the same uh, place where you're going yes, to have exactly. the little reception? Yes, exactly. That's also where the reception will okay. be. Yes. Will there be alcoholic beverages served? No, absolutely not. <laughs> okay. We're against uh, cold beverages in Norway. No, I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> so please go yeah, by for yeah. some delicious beverages there. Uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, and uh, so this is uh, Andreas uh, from uh, Serpo Tech. And again, they're in booth B60, and they're having a, uh, a, a little reception tomorrow at 4.30. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks. And uh, our next, uh, next we have uh, Christine, my colleague Christine, and uh, we have Professor Alexander um, Michelis, hopefully uh, I pronounced it right, from uh, Frau Frauenhofer Institute for Ceramic Technologies, as well as Professor uh, Lorenz Siegel of uh, Plan C C and uh, Siddharth Meyer of Empower GmbH. Thank you very much.